Hello, beautiful Army of Light Earth Division. It's Shauna L. Francis. Today is March 6th, 2023. Thank you so much for being here. We're channeling the late Queen Elizabeth, who has come forward as a negative reptilian hive mind human. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We've got a lot going on here. Uh, what is this, number 37? I think it's the 37th episode. episode. So we are doing well. We are making some progress here. I've got about um, 1,450 words here to go through with you today from Queen Elizabeth. Um, before I get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit about Harry and the um, video that he put out here on Saturday morning that I told you about last week. So he got um, on camera with a doctor that specializes in trauma and they talked for 90 minutes and it was fascinating. And <laughs> the man is such a light worker. I mean, it really just confirms that he is not part of this negative reptilian regime through the hive mind control. Um, he talked about plant medicine quite a bit, being an advocate for plant medicine, ayahuasca, psilocybin, cannabis. Um, incredible. You know, the, this... This plant medicine, the energe energetics from that medicine really helped him get through some really tough times. All of them did. Um, and he, he highly recommended it. And so did the doctor that he was speaking with. So um, if you're not aware, part of what I'm doing as my mission is starting a psilocybin mushroom grow operation. My biggest hang up here um, <laughs> has been finding the perfect place to grow the psilocybin, to grow the mushroom. So everything else is in order. Um, now it's just really uh, focusing on the finding a commercial space where the landlords say yes to this idea and it works for what we need. Um, and it's within my price range. So it's been five months. I've been looking very diligently and I thought I had a place picked out here last weekend, Thursday, Friday, and I don't think it's going to work out through a little technicality, but um, ah, so close. So that's my update on the psilocybin business. It's still happening. The team, the guides still say, yeah, go for it, Shauna. But it's just a matter of finding that perfect spot. Finding the, not, I'm not even looking for perfect. I'm just looking for a spot that's going to work, that's not going to break the bank. So working hard on that part. So love this, love this, love this. A royal is talking about plant medicine and how cannabis really helped him, how psychedelics really helped him. I, I just love this. Um, at one point he said, it's all about energy. <laughs> Prince Harry said, it's all about energy. He said, if you'd have said that to me seven or eight years ago, I wouldn't have had any idea what you were talking about. So he's had some really good therapy um, and he's done a lot of talk therapy, it sounds like, to get through his trauma. Uh, again, really, this is mostly focused around um, his mom's death. Really, really tragic for him. Um, and I'm I'm in the middle of listening to his book, Spare, and I'm going to get a hard copy. Everybody who attended Saturday's video gets a hard copy of his book, so I'm looking forward to having that. Um, he said that there is strength and vulnerability. He says you can be loving and vulnerable and be strong. Vulnerability, to be vulnerable, hearts open. This is where our power lies. All of our guides have said this in one way or another over the last few years. It's just <laughs> so amazing. He's so plugged in. He's so plugged in. So I was just uh, so happy about this. Oh, and the last thing he said, do not be controlled by fear. Harry said this, do not be controlled by fear. Um, he says he's trying to meditate more, um, but he just hasn't had a whole lot of time for it, but he understands the, uh, the importance of meditation. So I was just thrilled. I was thrilled to see Harry um, talking very much about some of the things that we speak about, really owning it and being confident in it. Um, it you know, they've been invited to the coronation with uh, King Charles that there was a question whether or not they'd be invited, but they have been invited and they're mulling it over. Uh, I guess the coronation falls right on Archie's birthday, their son's birthday. So we'll see what happens here. We're get, we get to watch this unfold in real time. All right, so that's my update there. Fun stuff. Today we talk about 
Queen Consort Camilla today. Guys, it took over four hours. I was, <laughs> I'm not complaining, but I was getting really hungry. I was really kind of ready to be done at about four minutes, four hours and 10 minutes. Um, it's like we got started with our pleasantries and she didn't hardly speak for three hours today. Three hours. I got up, went to the bathroom, took a, took a couple breaks, stretched a little bit, got my blood flowing, but basically nothing for three hours. And Finally, I'm checking in with Melchizedek, like, what are we, are we still doing this? And they're like, yeah, just hang on. And finally at like a little uh, over four hours, I'm like, I really am hungry. I'm getting a headache from not eating. Um, and they just said 15 more minutes, Shauna, and we'll wrap it up. So that's what I did today. <laughs> so it was, I'm tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired. And I'm tired from moving furniture yesterday and I'm sore. Um, so I'm still, I'm still trying to I don't know, regain all my energy back, whatever's happening here. And I think it might be hormonal too. I've got all that going on too. Yay for me. All right. I'm not complaining. It's all good. Life's good. This is amazing. In fact, <laughs> I don't ever, I don't ever want to take this for granted. All right. So she's, she said, I said, thank you so much for letting me take yesterday off and for your patience with that. I'm really excited to get going with you again today. She's like, me too. Thank you. Um, I was really feeling a lot of beautiful energy again today as we were channeling. And at one point during that three hour kind of whatever that was, intermission, I kind of had invited her into my space. Like, could she bring her energy into my space? And, you know, some of the other guides have done that where they're like, you know, especially the Galactic Federation of Light when we were doing the hot, the hot seat stuff, the interviews, like, you know, feeling them come right into my field. Melchizedek right into my field. So I felt like that happened and I don't think it helped anything because it still took a long time for these words to come out, but it felt nice. Felt good. She said here, the ride of a lifetime, so many twists and turns, hills and valleys, butterflies in our stomach as we fly through this pas passage together at breakneck speed. Momentum, Shauna, she said. We are in it. We are helping to create it one moment at a time. <laughs> breakneck speed. Boy, we heard that a lot. Um, that word breakneck, that's come up several times. <laughs> it's so ironic because I've had so much going on with my neck and my uh, viewing my past lives and how I've died. So, you know, the throat chakra, all of this, there's so much going on right here. This is such an important part of our being right here in the, in the throat. So breakneck speed, it's an interesting word that they're using. And they're talking about momentum. You know, certainly sitting there for four, four and a half hours, it feels like we're, we don't have a lot of momentum going, like it's kind of trickling through, trickling through. And I find myself, you know, wanting more, wanting it quicker. And I just have to relax. I just have to relax and just really trust that this story and the, this information is being disclosed at the perfect level. I can ask and I can, you know, recommend certain things, but really at the end of the day, I completely trust what's coming through as exactly perfect. So she's learning how to do that too. All right. So we are, we're helping to create um, this momentum one moment at a time. All right, boy, here's where we had that got done and it was three hours before she came back in again. She said, thank you, Shauna. Thank you so much for your patience. Sometimes I get a bit overwhelmed with emotion and trying to sort through what I want to say. And I want it to all be beautiful and I want it to be perfect. I know of course that it will be, even if it's not quote unquote perfect in my mind. I am learning Shauna to trust and to be in the flow. <laughs> I said, that's okay, Elizabeth. I said, we're, we're both working on our things here. You, I'm working on patience. You're working on uh, expression. <laughs> so I said, and remember that you have not really been thinking for yourself. You haven't been feeling deeply. So we all understand this. And what you're doing is very brave. You know, you are, um, you're doing something you've not ever done before. So we're really proud of you. And we're happy for her is what I said. I said, we're in this together. She said, thank you so much, Shauna. This is difficult and I do apologize for the delays. I said, no apology needed, Elizabeth. Thank you. All right. So she says here, 
King Charles, my dear son, in a tough position. He is simultaneously trying to uphold the dignity of what's expected from him in his station, in his position in the world, while also honoring his feelings as a father and also feeling the need to defend himself in the face of public criticism. Yeah. The negative reptilian regime in this case, allowing Charles to show his humanity here. But always, she said, their agenda will be to keep existing control systems not only in place, but to expand them, whatever they can get away with. They continue to push, they continue to pull, keeping a pulse and a tab on energetic factors, she said. They already anticipate that Charles will be an unpopular king, but they will do whatever they can to contain that damage that will be that will be done during King Charles's reign, and this includes discrediting Prince Harry, casting doubt on his sincerity, casting doubt on his integrity. She said here, they are working hard to paint a picture of Harry as a double-faced shyster who is exploiting his position for notoriety, wealth, and vengeance. N you know what? At the end of the day, most people are not going to buy that. They're just not going to buy it. it. It's it's too, I mean, he, his book is like the number one book in the world right now, and it has been. It's been like right up there on the charts. Um, and he, <laughs> well, I love this next thing that she said. She said, Prince Harry is only feeling more emboldened by his father's actions and the negative press coverage to be an agent of change and to be a force of light. This is just so true. I mean, I'm finding it, you know, and it's no accident that I think that he's over here in the United States. He's exactly where he needs to be. Um, Elizabeth talked about that today as well. He's exactly where he needs to be. Um, kind of out of the paparazzi, out of all that pressure, out of that pressure cooker, um, where they can breathe and have some privacy and raise their kids and build on this platform. You know, he says, we have a platform and I plan to take advantage of it. Uh, I mean, this is just, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Team, We're all working together. This is all being coordinated. It's no accident that we're disclosing this information while he's doing that, while the king is doing his thing. I just, I love this. It's just amazing. All right. He's perfectly positioned, she said, perfectly situated to cast the necessary doubt in an already come crumbling monarchy, helping to seal its fate. Yeah, so the queen has not minced words here in saying that, you know, the time has come for the monarchy. It's, it's, it's coming down. You know, this isn't going to last long. They're going to get Charles out of there, get William in there, it sounds like. And then she switches gears here. She says, Queen Consort Camilla, also negative reptilian, hive mind controlled, dutifully supporting Charles, providing stability to Charles, helping to lift his spirits, to keep him going, to keep him focused, and also to keep a close eye on him. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> she said here, to make the minor course corrections if necessary, much like the role that Prince Philip played in my life. Yes. She said, there's very little choice for either one of them in terms of this match. It's all orchestrated to help further the regime's agenda. So it sounds like team, obviously they let the humanity come through. So the people who are hive mind humans, they're generally controlled by the hive mind. They still have their emotions. They still have opinions. You know, they're allowed to be themselves to a certain degree. And it's important that, you know, they don't look like they're, I mean, I mean, for them to blend in in that way, but still be in charge. Just under the radar, all this is happening. She said, Queen Consort Camilla, even more powerful than King Charles, at least in terms of the viewpoint of the negative reptilians. You know, I don't think much about her, you know, honestly. Her role in the monarchy cannot be understated, she said. 
cannot be overstated. Her role in the monarchy cannot be overstated. She said, Shauna, we've embarked on this path of truth and the truth is not always convenient. It's not always what you want it to be or what you expect to be, expect it to be. But in fact, truth is stranger than fiction, as they say. Another big pause here. She said, we've embarked on this journey together to bring certain information to light. We're doing this deliberately and conscientious, conscientiously and with a high degree of heart. Not all who find these messages will be available to receive their gifts, she said. Nonetheless, we do this work on behalf of everyone. Every person who walks this planet now and who will walk her surface in the future. We'll play our role, Shauna, and at this moment it may feel like a small role, but it is having a huge impact. All right. Um, that's that's good to know. I <laughs> I was just talking to Melchizedek. I'm like, where's all the negative stuff? You know, it's supposed to be coming my way. And they said, oh, it's coming. Just enjoy yourself right now. I'm like, okay. Um, also, team, remember, if you feel like you want to share any of this, please feel free to do so. We've been pretty much given the green light from the guides to share all this information openly. So feel free to post the videos, share the links. Um, as you see fit, I know not everybody wants to talk about this stuff publicly. I get it. All right. Um, this was another huge stretch of time here and it was getting late. And I said, Melchizedek, you know, are we, are we done here? Are we continuing? And they said, Shauna, please just 15 more minutes and we'll wrap this up with the queen. I said, okay. All right. <clears throat> queen consort Camilla, she said, as a negative reptilian hive mind human will help stabilize the monarchy while destabilizing anything outside the monarchy. And that includes Prince Harry and of course his wife, Meghan. She will have Charles's ear, she said. She'll have the ear of the press and she will try to do great damage to Harry. And this will make it increasingly difficult on William, who will be feeling very much stuck in the middle. But as William is also a negative hive mind human, it will feel a bit more detached for him. Not quite so personal, but again, there's still humanity here. There are still emotions, there are still opinions. Yeah, I mean, you just have to have love for all of them, honestly. We just have to have love for all of them, what they're, what they're going through. She said here, but when it comes to taking action on anything of any significance, the hive mind leadership will see to it that their will is done. William's reign will be quite different from what we see today in, in that it will be more fresh, more spirited. Diana's son will be a popular choice among the people and the monarchy will be doing everything they can to adapt to the changing world and the changing sentiment. The hive mind human, she said, at these topmost public facing positions on a global scale will increasingly be outwardly agitated, outwardly defiant as the energetics here become increasingly out of alignment with the low density that is required for them to survive. She said, Shauna, that's everything for me today. Thank you again for your patience as we worked through this dialogue. I said, wonderful, thank you, Elizabeth. So that was it for today. So now we know about Camilla. Um, I think we'll talk about Kate and Megan and the other folks here um, in good time, in all in good time as it, as it needs to be revealed. I mean, possibly this kind of dialogue with the Queen's gonna go along and kind of match what's going on in the press 
which is fascinating. That's not what I was expecting, but it certainly has already happened with the Frogmore Cottage debacle where Queen Elizabeth had gifted that house to Harry and Meghan. It was like a wedding present. He, she gave them that house and now Charles is taking it away and supposedly putting Prince Andrew in there. Anyway, so she, you know, she's definitely plug, plugged into what's happening here in real time. And I, I just couldn't be more proud of Harry. Um, all right, team. All right. You know, I'll, I do expect to uh, make another video tomorrow. Again, if I get taken down off this platform for any reason, I do have my videos up and running on my website. My website's going to be redesigned a bit for easier navigation. I created my website right around the time that I launched my YouTube channel and I had no idea that I'd be channeling like this when I launched my website. So it needs a bit of an overhaul so you can't really find the videos right now. Sorry if you've been looking and you're frustrated. Anyway, um, when that's all sorted out and the navigation is better, I will let everybody know and you can hop on there. And we're going to start up our newsletters again. It's been a long time since I've done the newsletters, but we'll we'll fire that up. And um, there's a place to sign up for my newsletters on my website under contact, Shauna, under contact. Um, anyway, I'll send out more information as we get that all sorted out with my website redesign. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'm so appreciative of you. We are rocking this team. We are just doing so good. I'm so proud of everybody here. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. All right, team, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Mwah.